Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is a video response to um, Peter, Jersey Knife Guy, because he was having a problem with his lock, picking it, and he said, you know, I don't know what's going on and all this other stuff. And I said, well, put a video up. Because if you put a video up, I can see what you're doing wrong. And I can, I can tell exactly what was going on right away with him. He's going to kick himself in the butt when he, when he sees what happens. All right, so the reason why we got terminology for a lot of this stuff is so that you can identify it. These are called tension wrenches. And like you said, they fit in the keyway. See, that's another terminology, keyway. Now, if you look at it, what, what Pete was doing wrong was he put the tension wrench on this side of the lock. I mean, you know, that's okay. But then he stuck his pick. The pick, you know, has like active elements of it. This one's got like a little wave and everything. But he had a hook. And a hook, you know, has got a point. So, with a pick like this, and the active element aiming at the bottom where there are no pins that's what it looked like he was doing it's going to be pretty hard to pick this lock open right so you you got to know how to position i forget about a lot of this stuff you know because for me you know it's it's one of the basics you learn and then you move on you see how that key is going in the key way you got to know which way the lock turns to open. Usually the writing is up and down. If you've got it like this, and you're trying to stick your uh, tension wrench in here, I mean, you may laugh and everything, but everybody has tried, you know, has started to pick locks, has probably tried to do this at one time or another. And like he was saying, these nubs stick up real high. So yeah, even if you've got everything set up right, and you've got your tension wrench like that. Look at that. It's going to block it. So you have to pull up a little bit. And you can still get tension on the lock. What you're trying to avoid is too small of a, of a tension wrench to get in here. And when doing what this. This is kind of what we call binding the core. Because it can actually pinch. It can wedge this tension wrench between that and the, and the keyway. So... The main thing is know which way the lock opens. Now, on padlocks, it's usually pretty easy. It's, it's going to open, you know, clockwise. It's going to turn to the right to open it. All right. So look at this tension wrench. I got it in there. It's clearing. It's clearing that. So, so that's good. And then this is just a rake. And, and see the pins? That's what I'm raking. That's what I'm going back and forth on is those pins. And how do you know if this lock is rakeable or not? You, the answer is you don't until you try. You don't. Um, it's however you get into the lock. Now with Jersey doing that thing like this uh, with the tension wrench on the wrong side, the riding upside down and everything else, he still got that lock open. I, I, can, I can imagine why. He, he probably still had the tension wrench in like this and was trying to pick down like that and basically jiggled the lock open. That isn't easy to do. That is not easy to get it to open that way. I'm surprised he did it, you know. So the one of the things to learn about that is, you know, which way does the lock open? Now, in picking, that can come to your advantage also because if you're picking like a deadbolt or a on another one this way is the way you pick to unlock it now on a padlock it's it's not going to work you know because it's not going to turn that that way but not all padlocks there's there is a trick padlock out there that uh they set it up to where it opens counterclockwise but the majority of them open clockwise so just get to where you can see the pins if you're doing a pin tumbler or whatever and your tension wrench is thick enough to go in there and not flop around, but also not bumping into any, you know, post or anything like that. 
and this is a rake you know so I'm gonna right now I'm trying to see if it's raking and I'm still applying a little bit of tension and going up and down and even though this is an easy Chinese you know 40 millimeter lock it may not be susceptible to raking and that depends on this is what we call the bidding this depends on the keys you know it looks like it's pretty easy one two three four they don't have to go very high those pins so um that's why he had a set now jersey's starting to fall for the lure that's why i've got so many picks as you look at them and you and it's marketing you know a lot of them are like oh, this is the latest thing you need this or you're not picking you know and that that's not the case at all it's it's you have to learn the basics before you start uh thinking that a pick a pick's not going to help you it's it's also like buying a fancy gun you know and never practicing <laughs> yeah that fancy gun's not going to be as good as somebody with a little 22 that shot that thing at squirrels every day you know uh that little 22 is going to take you out and your little fancy high-powered laser tech everything uh, ain't gonna do you a bit of good if you've never fired a gun before. Just sits in this package and looks good. All right, so I haven't picked this one. This is one of the ones that I'm sending to uh, Dale. And the, this kit is also what I'm sending to him. It's just a basic set. This is a Praxis kit, and it comes in uh, 23 thousandths thickness and 15 thousandths. When you're learning, you don't need 15 thousandths, especially when you're practicing and everything. It's easy to bend, you know, uh, the stuff out. And, yeah, I'm not ready to pick this lock. <laughs> but this one's not an easy one, and it's just a little, you know, it's a, a copy of a, of a master lock. And it's made in China, you know. I mean, it should be really easy to get into. But as long as you got the basics down, it's like it's like Pete was saying, this is therapy a lot of times because you don't have to look at it. You just got to get uh, the feel for it. So you just stick your pick in there and then you can watch TV or do whatever. And uh, you're going by feel anyways. You're trying to you're trying to feel the inside of a lock and you're pushing up on pins that sometimes they're mushy, you know, especially these Chinese ones. This thing uh, has a, a brass core, but a lot of them have a plastic core. I mean, it's plastic. All you need to get into this is a lighter, cigarette lighter. Really, cigarette lighter and a screwdriver, one of those little torch lighters. It melts it and you turn. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm saying is you've got to um, you got to know what you're dealing with. I'm not going to open this one right now, but I, that, that's just uh, now. See, now it's got me. All, I'm going to spend the rest of the day jacking around with this lock, trying to get it open because it's trying to make me look bad. All right, we're going to try to Bogota, rake it open. You never know, you know, like... Uh, Sometimes these, even the, the cheapest lock can be hard to pick because, uh, because it's so cheap. <laughs> and the thing is, don't get rid of that lock. Don't throw that lock away because it's going to teach you something, you know. If it's easy to get into, well, you're like, oh, yeah, 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 that was easy, you know. <laughs> and you go on. But if it's not easy to get into, then you were doing something wrong. And, you know, it, it may be you were using too much tension. Uh, you could have been, done something basic like Jersey, which was, you know, where you weren't picking where the pins were. Do you want the tension wrench to not obstruct things? You don't want to put it right in the middle of the, of the lock. Yeah, it'll still tension it, but you have no room really to... To pick your pins and stuff you want to get it as low this is just bottom of the keyway tensioning you can get another set of picks where a tension wrench is where they just hook right up here on this lip and they've there's three different sizes to fit most keyways you know 
and they fit right up in there and then you have the whole keyway to mess around with with your pick but it's also easy to uh, it's harder to rake when you've got one of those because you're going back and forth and you're right there you know where the pins are at so it's usually not easy to rake with one of those I don't know why I'm jacking around with this guy it's it this thing uh, guarantee it doesn't have any security pins in it and it's should be one of the easiest things but that's another thing you know a, a lock with security pins will go into a false set and then you know you're getting somewhere with these you don't know see now because raking didn't work zipping probably won't work either but you never know so what i'm doing is i'm i'm just applying a little tension right here i'm taking a pick usually it's something you know it's got a little lift on it and everything i'm sticking it in the keyway on top of the tension wrench i get all the way back there then i get my tension ready and i ow, ooh. and sometimes it'll snag on something that's a low-hanging key uh, pin right there so already i know zipping is not going to work either too well with this pick or this um or this lock just the way it's doing oh man but i'm trying anyway and it's just um, trial and error, you know? If you say, well, you know, I'm not getting anything. And when I let off, I felt two pins fall down. When I let tension off, I felt two pins fall down. Sometimes you can see the cuts in the pin right here. If you see this thing is, is split low, then that means that pin's going to have to be pushed up. Up here is your shear line. It's going to have to be pushed up that high. If you're never touching it and you're not pushing much on it, and you're gonna have to push it up pretty high if you don't see any cuts then it's probably got the cut already up there so it doesn't have to be pushed up much this will tell you you know it'll tell you how far you've got to go all right so the tension wrench is down here so you're blocking this part of the keyway already so when you go in you shouldn't have to push very far if you're looking at this pick I'm probably oversetting these when I'm doing that. And you can do the same thing, you know, if you want a single pin pick, if you really want to try to figure out what's going on. I think this guy's too too high. He's got too much lift, so we'll go with one that doesn't have a lot of lift. And then that'll give me a, a little bit better chance, maybe. And I'm just easing in there i'm not going all the way up on each one. Ooh, i got a little bit of a movement see i pushed i got a little bit of movement on the core so that 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 pin is set i shouldn't have to push on it anymore this one's giving me some resistance uh, hear that kunk front one here he just mushed sometimes when you push them and they just mush you're like uh oh But yeah, this guy's a challenge. I mean, it's just a... Also, I haven't picked in a long time, so... But yeah, it's, it should be a really easy lock to pick open. It really should. But that's why, that's why um, I say film these things. And if you're filming and you're always showing your successes, then you're cheating. Yeah, because uh, nobody nobody goes up and just is you know starts off learning lock picking, and all of a sudden every every video you see it's only like about two minutes long, and they pop the the lock, you know, or there's an edit in there uh, where it's happening and all of a sudden it cuts and then boom it's open, you know. Um, if you're doing that, you're basically cheating yourself because what I when I videotape my uh, thing, it was to videotape my learning experience. And it's just like anything else, you know. If, if you fail, not only are you going to learn from your experience, but other people might. They're saying like, wow, what was, how come, how come they couldn't get into that lock? Well, if you're doing everything properly, you know, It'll 
open up quickly. We saw how quick that was. And you saw how long it took me to do it also. And you see this one only has one shackle in there, so it would be really easy to shim this one and bypass it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of ways into these locks, but sometimes the easiest lock is going to defeat you. So know your keyways. If you've got a key with a lock, see which way it turns. I always usually look, it usually has some kind of, this is called like, you know, the, the keyway right here. And uh, it's the shape is set up to accept different types of keys. You know, they change it around. And uh, that's just so that, you know, one key won't necessarily fit every lock. That's one of the things. But just know the way the lock turns to open. In this case, it opens like this. So if you've got your tension wrench uh, sitting over here on this side, yeah, it, it's possible to do it. But you're, you're setting yourself up, basically. If you're right-handed, this is not the way to go. If you're left-handed, it may be different. In England, they pick it differently. In England, a lot of times, they pick their keyways like this. Their pins are down here. And I know they drive on a different side of the road and everything. They would still, you know, tension it the way you would. But they pick like this. So, if you think all your locks are easy to do, try picking it the English way and see. Um, wow. You see how easy this lock is to open now? And, and how much of a difficulty I had before? If I edited this and I just showed it to you, you know, the last few uh, minutes of it, you would get the impression that, hey... This stuff is easy. Now, it can be challenging, but once you get the basics down, once you understand what's going on, um, the challenges become, those become easier and you start seeking more challenges. You start going after harder locks, you know, and, and more difficult things to pick. Uh, at least I did. And then you also, you know, you can get, you can get bogged down into buying picks and and tools and things you think you need and you don't really i mean when you're first starting off you really don't need you really don't need a bunch of stuff all you need is a lock or two and some basic picks you don't even need all of these in here uh you really only need a few tension wrenches if you can't buy these tension wrenches you can make them out of windshield wiper inserts i'm telling you you know, there's a long strip of metal. It's stainless steel. It, it reinforces the back of a windshield wiper blade. Bobby pins. Like, uh, you know, they're not the best stuff. But, I, I mean, you can get these really cheap uh, finger pick sets. I don't know where they're at. But they're from China, you know. And they've just got enough that it, it's short and everything. So you can get, care, you know, like I said, you got to know your life laws. But... Um, you can carry all kinds of little picks with you, you know. Here's some tension wrenches. And, yes, yeah, Sparrows is a marketing company, you know. So they, they sell a lot of stuff that's got cool designs. Here's, you know, tombstone and a hand coming out of it, you know. But it's got a pretty good hook on it. And if you know what you're doing, this is small enough for you to get into most things. You know, look, there's a Bogota. But this is what I was talking about, these little finger picks. They were cheap, but man, they're, they're decent, you know? So all you need is the basics, the basic shapes. Uh, the material's got to be, you know, fairly strong. You don't want to go with uh, a lot of the real cheap Chinese sets because they're stamped out of thick metal. They don't deburr them. They're soft. It's just like knife steel, you know? They're, they're, they're not the, uh, hardened and all these other stuff. So, Pete, you've got a really good uh, basic set, that, uh, that Sparrow's right there. And before you start throwing a lot of money into uh, picks and everything, just continue with the locks you've got or possibly look for other padlocks and stuff. But I'd, I'd invest in more in, in learning, you know, learning skills instead of thinking that uh, purchasing things are, are going to be the way out of it. And like I said, it's very, it's, it's simple. You take a padlock with you, you take a tension wrench, you take a pick. And if you're in an office, you know, a doctor's office or whatever, 
Um, besides this being a pretty good self-defense tool if you had to use it, um, it gives you something to do. Like, like I said, it keeps your mind active. And if you pop it, Jersey's hooked because he's got that, he's got what I got. When you pop a lock, man, you go, whoa. You want to go running downstairs and then your spouse will look at you like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So you open the lock and you're like, you don't get it. You don't, I've been working on it. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't get it. Only the people that are into it get it. But uh, it is fun. And so I, there, I hope, I hope that helps anybody that's starting off. Um, know which way your lock opens. And on, on different locks, you know, like um, deadbolts and stuff like that. I don't have one with me. But these little cylinders and everything, if you can't pick them one way, a lot of times you can pick them real easy the other way. And to, for me, it was, can I get a lock open? That was my first thing. And then after that, how many different ways can I get a lock open? Can it be zipped open? Can it be Bogota open? Is there a bypass? Can you just bypass all of this and go in there? And can it be shimmed open? In this case, yes. Yes, it, it can be shimmed open. Um, so... Yeah, I look at all the non-destructive ways into a lock because anybody can use a hacksaw or bolt cutters or dynamite. You know, that takes no skill. So, there you go. I know this is a long one. Sorry for that. And I will be getting back into knives and stuff. I just wanted to put that one up. And um, Dale, I will be sending your locks out. Uh... I keep saying that, but uh, I didn't have a, a small flat rate box, so I've got to get everything ready and then go to the post office and get a box and pack it right there. But I'll do it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.